rebellions are built on hope. Star Wars will once again be a hot toy for Christmas, but when you hit the stores, remember the words of Admiral Akbar. It's a trap! Actually, Admiral, it's just the bubbler in your tank. But your point's well taken. Up to 50% of annual sales will be on the line in the weeks between Thanksgiving and Christmas. You're gonna see retailers pulling out all the stops during this holiday time frame. Marketing expert Mari Corella ran down retailers' top tricks to open your wallet. First, the environment. That includes visuals. Even before you step foot in the store, you're gonna notice holiday themes such as winter themes or ornaments. Smells. Familiar scents such as sugar cookies or pine. And sounds, namely, Christmas Carol. They invoke a feeling of nostalgia and generosity from the holiday period. You're going to want to linger in that store a little bit more, and therefore you're spending more money. Works great for people who had good childhoods. <laughs> Next, beware the gift sets. You're going to see items that you wouldn't normally buy together set into a really beautiful package at an incredible price. You went in to buy one item and leave with five items and a shrink-wrapped wicker basket. Finally, two of the newest traps are tricky offers. A threshold offer entices you to increase your self-imposed spending limit. Spend $100 and get 20% off. The problem here is that you only intended to spend $50. A bounce-back offer is a gift you can only redeem in person at a later date. This is great for the retailer because they not only get you to come back into the store, but very few people redeem the offers. So they got you to spend more for nothing. The bottom line? It's not a value if you don't need it. So stick to your list and your budget because avoiding holiday traps is what's the deal.